Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Reeti and I am back with another lecture in the DBMS series. So in the last lecture, we learnt about lossy and lossless decomposition. In this particular video, we would be learning about dependency preserving decomposition. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as the word suggests dependency preserving decomposition. So whenever we are having decomposition or whenever we are in a process of having decomposition, if the functional dependency before the decomposition and after the decomposition are preserved or maintained we call it as dependency preserving decomposition so dependency preserving decomposition ensures that the functional dependencies are preserved or maintained after decomposing a relation into two or more smaller relation so it makes sure that the functional dependencies are preserved before the decomposition as well as after the decomposition now here consider an example so consider a relation r which is having attributes as a b and c with functional dependencies as a determine b and b determine c find its dependency preserving when it's divided into relation r1 which is having a and b and relation r2 which is having b and c as the attribute so here we have a relation a b c which is now divided into two relation r1 and r2 where r1 is having a b as the attributes and r2 is having b c as the attribute now we have to see the functional dependency which was there before the division or before the decomposition is preserved or maintained or not now coming to the first relation that is R1. So it is having attributes as A and B. Now if we want to form a functional dependency using these attributes, what can we form is A can determine itself, B can also determine itself. These are trivial dependency or we can say the property of reflexivity. Now A can also determine B, these functional dependency we have derived. Now coming to the trivial dependency, we generally don't care about trivial dependency because it always holds true. So for this we don't need to look at. Now coming to these, is there any functional dependency which is present here, which is also here. So we can see that A determines B is there before the decomposition and A determine B is also there after the decomposition. So we can say that this particular functional dependency is preserved using this particular decomposition table now coming to the second table that is r2 which is having attributes as b and c so the trivial dependencies could be b determine b c determine c but we don't need to take care of trivial dependency so coming to the non-trivial one so it could be b determine c so among these functional dependency let's see if there is any dependency which is preserved even after decomposition so you can see b determine c is here as well and here as well. So before and after the decomposition, B determine C is preserved. So in this particular table, BC, B determine C is preserved. So both of the functional dependencies is preserved. So we can say that the decomposition is dependency preserving because the functional dependency A determine B and B determine C are preserved in relations R1 and R2. Now let's see one more example so that the concept is clear. So consider there is a relation R which is having attributes as A, B, C, D and the functional dependencies are A determine B, A determine C, C determine D. Find if it's dependency preserving when divided into R1, A, B, C and R2, C, D. Coming to the first relation that is R1 which is having attributes as A, B and C. So since this R1 is having attributes as A, B and C, there could be some functional dependencies which would be present. So first what we will do is we'll take the closure of A. So if we take the closure of A, it will give me A, B, C and D. All the attributes. Coming to the closure of B, it will only give me B. Coming to the closure of C, it will give me C and D. So from here we can say that A can determine A, A can determine B, A can determine C, A can determine D. So we can make the functional dependency as A determine B and A determine C. Now coming to B, B can only determine itself so we will discard it. Coming to C, so C can determine itself and C can determine D but there is no D present in this particular relation. So these two would be the functional dependencies which would be for this particular relation. And coming to the functional dependency which was present before. So we can say that A determine B is a functional dependency which is preserved there. Coming to A determine C is also a functional dependency which is preserved there. So we can say that for the first table A, B, C, A determine B and A determine C is 
preserved now coming to the second table that is r2 which is having c and d now from c and d c can determine c and c can determine d so there would be only one functional dependency c determine d and now if we see to the functional dependency which was present before the decomposition there is a c determine d and after decomposition also c determine d is there so c determine d is also preserved so the decomposition is dependency preserving because the functional dependency a determine b and b determine c are preserved in r1 and r2 so if if you want to find that if a given relation is having dependency preserving decomposition or not what you can do is you can note down the relation and then you can find out the decomposed table of that particular relation for the original relation you can note down the functional dependency for the decomposed relation you can find out the functional dependency using the closure method where you can find the closure of individual attributes and when you have find the closure of individual attributes you can know which all attributes that particular closure can define and then you can derive some functional dependency based on that once you have derived the functional dependency you need to check if the functional dependency which is derived after decomposition and if the one which was present before decomposition is preserved or not in this way you can find out if a given relation or if a given functional dependency is dependency preserving or not so this was all about dependency preserving decomposition in this particular video i hope you like this video so if you like this video please hit the like button if you are someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you find it useful can go ahead and subscribe also if you have not followed me on my social media handles you can go ahead and follow the links are in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all